which team has the best home opener record since 1998? Folks, it is opening day. We are here. So this is part two of an opening day doubleheader on the baseball brouhaha. We're excited to be here. I even dressed up for the occasion. Just kidding. This is what I wear to work. Anyway, thanks for joining us for a cup of coffee. I'm Aaron. That's my identical twin brother, Adam. We're going to be putting our baseball knowledge to the test, specifically home openers. Adam, you already gave us a little bit, a little taste here. Why don't you bring us the question and let's talk some opening day baseball. Here we go. Which team has the best home opening, home opener record since 1998? Um, 1998, of course, is the last time that the league expanded with the addition of the Arizona Diamondbacks and Tampa Bay Rays. But our options today are the Los Angeles Dodgers, New York Mets, New York Yankees, or San Francisco Giants. Okay. Um, this one is, is so wonky because you look at, um, you, you try to think, well, okay, well, who was good? But, like, on any given day, um, first of all, I don't know who the opponents were on any, <laughs> any, any of those. And sure, those have been good teams, but, um, you know, you can lose a game here and there. You, know, you can lose the first one and be just fine. So um, a bit of a shot in the dark here, folks. Um, actually, not a bit, a lot. So let's go. Um, um, just because I know that the Dodgers have been good for a decade plus here, I'm going to say Dodgers, I'm going to say they get it off on the right foot at home more often than anybody else. That's what I'm going with. Strong convictions right here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and I'm going New York Yankees. I feel like that's, you know, for those who play for the Yankees, you probably get pumped to play at Yankee Stadium opening day. Yeah. And then maybe someone playing against the Yankees. Maybe you're feeling a little nervous. It's the first game we're playing at Yankee Stadium or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. So I feel like that venue, that, you know, first game of the season at Yankee Stadium, bringing people are off, jazzed. So yeah, you're bringing in the human element here. Yeah. Uh, and well, and yeah. the Yankees, the Yankees are pretty good and they win mm -hmm. quite a bit. And they've been, you yeah. know, since 1998, including three years in a row that they won the world series in 98, 99 and 2000. Yeah. Um, they've had some good teams as well. Yeah. And we're so. in it in 2001. So, you know, yeah. there you go. Yeah. I mean, and you're right. It, since certainly since, uh, well, 95, I think kind of sort of restarted the Yankees dynasty because they had some, some rough years there. Um, but 95 when they made the playoffs and, and our Mariners dispatched them in the in the um, division series there. But that started a run for them. So they've been good a long time. So it's certainly uh, a guess worth taking right there. So, Adam, bring us bring us the good news. OK, well, our answers here. The correct answer is the Yankees. Oh, there we go. With an 800 winning percentage. Wow. They've, they've won 20 home openers out of the last 25 years. 20 and 5. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's, that's like a put your money on that. <laughs> on that yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the Mets and Giants were next closest at 18 wins. Dodgers tied with a few other teams at 17 wins. Okay, still, um, still quite productive over that yeah. period of time. Interesting little note here. I don't know if you picked up on this or not, but these top four teams, their franchises oh. all originated in New York City. Oh, yeah. So, no kidding. So, you know, a little New York magic for the home openers on this one. Even carried over to California. So, yeah. Yeah. You out there, you're probably wondering – who is the worst home opener team? So would, to, to satisfy that craving, what go ahead. 
Well, so on the, I want to take a guess because, um, and I don't know if this is accurate, but I heard I was watching something the other day that the Braves had lost like seven in a row or something. So I'm tempted to go Braves with this, just picking team out of the air. With that said, uh, I mean, there's some teams that have had some rough stretches here, but um, just because of that one thing that I heard that um, really only represents about a quarter of the time span that we're talking about, I'll say Braves. Okay. It's not the Braves. It's not the Braves. <laughs> the, the A's, Reds, and Pirates. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not surprising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, who are, you know, annually a poor team. Um, they're all tied with only nine wins, a 30, a 360, a 36% winning percentage. Okay. Wow. Um, you know, you you might be wondering also, does it matter? I mean, of course the games matter, but we got 161 other games. Mm -hmm. So for World Series winners, you know, looking back at their home openers, they have won their home opener 68% of the time. Okay. So if your team wins on opening day, you can hold, you know, just be like, okay, we're doing it this year. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing it this year. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it'll be interesting. You probably don't have the statistics on playoff teams, but <clears throat> there are there's quite a bit of you know more reliable statistics once you get into a certain point in the season, um, you know, winning record or whatever it is of you know the likelihood of making the playoffs. One game is certainly not a make or break, but um, but at the same time, you look at kind of the trajectory over these. You're talking about A's, Reds, Pirates you know, on the low end and, and um, Yankees, Giants, Mets, Dodgers on the high end. Um, you know, it's interesting how um, you, it's almost, it almost makes me think of the spring training question that we talked about where spring training definitely feels a bit more random. Um, and I would have thought this would feel more random too. And there, there probably is an element of that, but it doesn't feel quite as random as maybe I thought it might. Yeah. Yeah, well, and you got the team's best pitcher running out there. So you, mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. maybe a good indicator first yep. day of the year how the year is going to go. Sure. Yeah, the, so our um, our longest winning streak mm -hmm. um, ever, actually, not just since 1998, mm -hmm. um, Houston Astros, which is a current winning – it's a winning streak they're on right now. Oh, wow. Looking to extend it, they're at ten years of winning ten. their home opener. Ten years, Whew. yeah, that's impressive. Um, and for those who are wondering, well, home opener is not necessarily just opening day, right? Who has the best record for just opening day? Mm -hmm. We don't have that since 1998, but we have it all-time record. The New York Mets have the best all-time opening day record despite losing like their first seven um, <laughs> in their franchise history yeah 40 40 and 21 overall wow 66 winning percentage second is our beautiful seattle mariners 28 and 18 really 609 winning percentage that surprises me a lot but um <laughs> But, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, just trying to think back, like, why is that? Well, like, I mean, in the 90s, you had Randy Johnson in, on opening day, and, you know, they had some good offenses, so maybe that makes some sense. The Mets have had some really good pitching throughout the years. from Seaver, Nolan Ryan, Doc Gooden, you know, Brett Saberhagen, you know, even right now having Scherzer and Berlander um, going, getting after it. So, um, yeah, so – Back to your the winning streak for the Astros, folks. Today you can you can check it out and see if they extend that winning streak today. They're playing at home against the White Sox. Will they make it eleven? That's what we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a you have another obscure one, don't you? About opening day. I I do. Um, there was a tie for a home opener for the <laughs> at the time Boston Braves. Uh -huh. uh, playing against the Phillies, uh, there was heavy rain. 
you know, this is 1950, heavy rain, put the tarp out. The tarp technology was not as good, apparently, um, mm -hmm. or at least the rolling up of the tarp technology. So it, it rained for about an hour. Uh, they go to remove the tarp. Um, all the water comes off the tarp onto the field. <laughs> There's this... <laughs> this, is like, this is like high school style. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Creates a swamp in right field. <laughs> the umpire determines the field is unplayable. And they, they, they ended up making, they replayed the game later on. Okay. So the, the, the like record of this particular game um, <clears throat> was gone, washed wow. away, should we say? Yeah, um, <laughs> it was. And and so little little home opener, quirky, uh, obscure trivia yeah. for you right there. This is stuff you don't get. I mean, I feel like there's got there's quirky stuff in other sports, but I feel like in, when it comes to baseball, it doesn't get any quirkier than than baseball in terms of the stuff you. You find getting swamped out, a rain out, swamp out, uh, tie <laughs> on opening day. Who would have figured? So, well, folks, thanks for joining us today on the Baseball Brouhaha Opening Day Edition. I hope you're uh, getting a chance to root for your team. I know our team, Mariners, plays later tonight. So, advantage us. We don't have to worry about uh, the old work schedule. So, anyway, enjoy your cup of coffee. Add your comments below. Subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Please add um, any any uh, topics of trivia or specific questions that you want us to tackle. We will get to those, and we would love to hear your, your input there. So enjoy baseball today, and we'll be back with you tomorrow.